Hey everybody, Supervisor James Gore here from Sonoma County. I'm here with Chief of uh, Sonoma County Fire District, Mark Hine. We're here to talk to you about what can happen in two years time. Two years ago in the tubs, nuns, and pocket fires when they smacked us in the face in October 2017, we were on our heels for months after that trying to catch up with it. There wasn't good pre-positioning. The alert and warning system didn't go out. There was all kinds of things that were frustrations of us and of the community, and uh, we decided to turn that into a movement towards resilience locally and to share with other counties throughout the state. What is the difference today versus what our experiences were in 2017? Biggest difference, we were prepared. We were prepared for a variety of reasons. We built relationships. We built relationships with elected officials, emergency services, preparedness outfits, and more importantly, with our communities and with our neighborhoods. We made significant advancements in this county in emergency alert and warning. We were able to successfully evacuate the entire town of Windsor, the entire city of Healdsburg to the tune of about 50,000 people in just shy of four hours at 100% compliance. More importantly, we had taught people, we had educated the community, they had come together as neighbors. They knew each other, they knew to check on each other when the evacuation warnings went out and the orders to evacuate this town went out. It's important to point out that in an 80,000 acre wildfire that impacted multiple towns and cities, multiple large businesses with lots of employees present at that time, there has not been a single civilian fatality or critical injury in this event. If your community does not have a robust and alert and warning system, you need to be investing in that now. If your community has one, you need to be testing it frequently and checking on the outcome of that to ensure that all of your population is capable of receiving that. If you haven't gone to the next step, ask yourselves, can our system tie into National Weather Service alert radios? We've done that in this county. Because of the support, because of the funding, because of the Board of Supervisors recognizing this threat and taking a proactive stance, we were able to pre-position firefighting resources in this county. When that red flag warning came to town, we were ready to go days ahead of time. In addition to that, we built strong relationships with the State of California Office of Emergency Services and our CAL FIRE partners. We were able to form those forces together cohesively when this event came to town. So this work just keeps going. And in a way, that may sound exhausting to people, but it's inspiring if you get into it because it's important. It's relevant for your community. When you get into these moments of incident management and these kinds of times of crisis, you either rise or you fall. There's nothing in between. Chief Hine and his folks rose up. This is only two years. You can do this. Take the examples from us and do better than we've done.